guys, welcome back to Build It TV. My name is Rob, and today we're talking about case swaps. We're talking about case swapping the world. Um, loads of people are against it. I don't know why. If I'm honest, uh, it's I'm all for it. They are Japanese engines, awesome. They rev to the moon, awesome, and they're reliable. And you can get real decent power and turbocharge them, get even more power. So uh, today we're looking at Anna's MR2 that has been case swapped, and uh, she's going to show you around it. Right, tell us about your uh, MR2 that is a bit different. It is an MR2 with a K20 in it from a Honda with nice. some standard coilovers to make it a little bit extra pretty. Standard coilovers? Standard. Nice. Nice. Honda engines make everything better. Always. And it's a bit wider than a normal yeah, MR2? Yeah, just, just, um, just some little lips just to keep the wheels in. Nice, make it legal. Yeah. 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 That always helps. And uh, what wheels are running? 17s by 9.5 ET, negative 10 rotor RKRs. Nice. Um, and to make them fit, we had to cut some of the arch out before we fit the coilovers, just because they are that bit wider. So then we had to put the lips on just to keep them yeah. tucked in. I mean, I guess bigger than you normally see on an MR2. Like, a lot most, bigger. A lot, yeah. a lot bigger in terms Norm of weight, not Yeah, normally they're running 15s. So it's quite drastically a bit bigger. And um, from the outside, it looks fairly stock. There's nothing that would show you it's yeah, a no, engine, it's, really, is it? Like, it's you know, a, bit you can't... Of a bit of a sleeper, really. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, obviously all the sporty body lines and stuff you'd get normally on the MR2, so... Yeah. So, uh, the interior is a bit different, though. Yeah, so the interior was a bit of where I went a bit insane. <laughs> To make the um, Honda engine fit, the actual cable lines for the gear stick are shorter. Right, okay. So instead of making adapters, we just left them as they are and actually made our own gear stick, which then we had to chop out some of the normal centre console and just to make it a bit prettier. I... Just so it didn't look all chopped and mangled yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, just to make Cut it a it bit over. more. Nice, bit more back there. Bit 80s, really. Imagine have you seen them um, get into the Greek? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> hey. Shouldn't somebody stop this? Yeah, you know how good this feels? I'm gonna cover the whole outside of my house in this material. And uh, full digital dash going on there? Yeah, so because the new engine isn't cable, it's electric, we had to get um, a 45, 45 pound tablet from Argos. Bargain. Absolute, just does the job. And it means I can actually keep track and actually data log what I'm making on the engine. Nice. So you can literally use that for anything. You can yes. use data log in. Music. Yep. Solitaire. Yeah, a bit of YouTube. <laughs> a bit of YouTube. <laughs> bit of YouTube nice. while I'm driving along. They're stuck in traffic, you know. <laughs> We've got obviously, you know, nice trusty fire extinguisher. Just in case. Just, just in case. Carry Is what you don't need and then you'll never need it. Heating all still connected? Yep. Yeah. All still works. Nice. Absolutely brilliant. Awesome. And do these do these leak? Yep. Do they leak? Uh leak. A lot. A lot. But that's just the standard MR2, that's, 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 what you get with that's it. what you have to put up with, yeah. Yeah. Well, a day like today, actually, it'd be pretty fucking awesome with that well, open. <laughs> when you go through the car wash, you get this in, you got a wet seat. Honda gear up, or? No, that's a homemade. Oh, is it? Yeah. Nice. Found the actual, like, knob just lying around, and then the actual shifter the gear shifter's stick made. is all homemade. Nice. All fabricated, yeah. Cool, so we opened this up, and we got something a little bit different, and that is a, uh, a Honda K20 engine. With a bit of VTEC. Out of Civic? Yep. Yeah? Yep. So, yeah, got the VTEC rather than the whatever Toyota used to use. Yeah, it was a standard 2 litre NA Toyota engine in before. Yeah. Um, but it gave out because it's like 29 years old. <laughs> so it was time for, while well, we're just putting something in, we'll give it an upgrade. Well, that's it. What's the options? You can replace it with the same engine again, which are you actually going to find one? You know, how many people are splitting MR2s yeah. for sale? Or you could put it something that's newer, more reliable, faster. <laughs> it's, it is a lot faster than what the old one used to I be. I was going to say, is it, was it a noticeable difference jumping in it? And Definitely. Not just the, the, the sound or anything, no, it's literally it's, it. the power is there yeah. a lot faster. And it's nice to just roll around with that VTEC. Nice. Nice, yeah, let it kick in at five mm. and a half grand or whatever it does. And we actually made um, the engine mount. So we tried to keep the standard engine mounts from the Honda and use them what we could, but we also had to make our own while we were in there. Yeah. Oh, so I can see, so this top part here yeah. is, and then mounted straight onto the box there. Because yeah. there's, there's quite a few mounts on, on a K-Series from what I know. Yeah, so 
we tried to use what we could and then what we couldn't we made our own because normally it's like 600 pound from america for the engine mounts for a swap kit yeah because right? yeah. k20s are actually mainly swapped in america it's more of an american thing yeah they should swap in everything don't they yeah like literally everything so actually to see an mr2 k20 swapped in england it's a little bit more rare. I've, I've not heard of one I, I can't i mean you you go on you know yeah mr2 sites and things is there is there many there's there is there's um a handful in england yeah. but you don't really hear much about them because it is quite cool to keep them as sleepers yeah because it's great when you're driving down the road and because it looks vaguely standard someone pulls up to you in something that they think's a bit more bitey and yeah you just unleash k20 on them to be fair for most people if it didn't have this and this on it yeah you could open the engine bay and they still wouldn't know you know it would it would just they would just think it's a, a toyota engine it's nice to have a sleeper though because then it's just that little bit different at a car meet where everyone sees everything so low and so completely different yeah, yeah. to have something that looks standard but goes a bit different well that's the thing with this it looks purposeful yeah that's probably the word for it yeah. right it looks like it's set up to do something that you wouldn't expect it to do which which is it's why i like it it's kind of cool isn't it it does all of the toyota things and then with a little bit extra <laughs> nice and um like keeping it cool and stuff like that no issues there i mean no issues at all it's no? actually really good i nice. i have to admit i panicked thinking with it being center in the vehicle it would get hot too easily yeah in the old one if you were cruising on a dual carriageway it would get hot but this yeah. one it it's beautiful so it's an improvement there as massively. well massively <laughs> i had massive overheating issues with the old engine nice but for this to be the daily and not have issues touch wood so far well that's it i mean you know for 90 percent of people this is better than their uh more modified more i don't know more different certainly than, than their you know toy car yeah let alone the fact that you daily this to work and back all the time we literally painted it in the garage nice yes it's that's a, that's uh, why it's all a little bit this is, this is a homemade paint job this is you it's, know i mean you talk about budget builds this is as budget as it gets we made eight pound on the engine actually you bought selling the old engine so yeah so we bought we bought the chassis it was literally like a field car and right. it had the engine in it was a non-runner it just it'd been sat in a field for a few years yeah so we bought it for like 300 pound and by the time we'd put that the k20 in the mr2 put the old engine in the honda sold a couple bits off we made eight pound on on the actual build what? When you put the old engine in the Honda? Yeah, we literally put the MR2 engine in the Honda, weighed it in, and oh, it made right, us eight yeah. pound. Nice. So well, again. Was, and we had the paint lying around. We had the black paint from an old drift car build. Yeah. It was lying around, and it was the case of the bloke that had it before me had rattle canned it purple, registered it purple, then rattle canned it black. Right. But with no prep, so it was all peeling. So we had spent a whole weekend just prepping, 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 and then painted it the weekend after nice so it was literally painted in the dirty garage <laughs> and it came out i mean fabulous it's you know it's it's a it's a 10 footer i would just say it's, it's one color again but it's one color exactly. it's one color it's amazing what happy. difference that makes um i mean if you if you had to total it up what, what would you say the car owes you 10 pound <laughs> about 10 pounds about 10 pound <laughs> what after, yeah after selling a few bits and being getting a lot of second hand stuff which i'm quite grateful yeah probably the bit that i went over was about the interior the blanket was 10 pound and that's about it <laughs> nice any extra money that was made off of the old stuff just got sold off and used towards to fund it all yeah i mean i got gifted the wheels by the other half yep which i am internally grateful for um, the arches came out of when we sold the scrap car. There's not many girls who would be happy with a set of wheels for Christmas or birthday or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know you are going to sell those? Well, not anymore! <laughs> <laughs> for it to be done so cheap and literally within three weeks all of it put together.
Hey guys and girls, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you would swap a K20 into and why. And if you've worked on your project car today, you can reward yourself by watching one of these two videos of mine. And if you haven't, well then get off your ass and get in the garage. See you later.